Oklahoma City. Gay Rodeo is an amateur rodeo. It's a charity rodeo. All the people that you'll see working and everything are volunteers. They don't get paid. Most straight rodeos are professional rodeos. The main difference is the three camp events. Wild drag is probably the most dangerous event next to bulls, and people don't think it is. One of the crowd's favorites is goat dressing. And there'll be a goat with, you know, a little doggy harness on down to the far end. Well, they have to run down, catch the goat, put a pair of tidy whitey underwears on, size large, and then you have to run back across the line. I think what's just as funny is seeing how some of these queens run, <laughs> you know? I like the expression on the goat, personally, when it's done, it's like, really, again? We met at Rodeo. <laughs> we met at Rodeo. In Texas. In Texas. In Fort little, Worth, Texas. A little over three years ago. Mm -hmm. He was good at shoot dogging. Uh, and I thought, well, a man can uh, throw down a steer and uh, quickly and, and do it good. Uh, I needed a big, strong man like that. <laughs> My trip to Gay Rodeo was a very interesting one. This is Frank Thompson out of the Village of the Village. Um, I was born and raised on a farm. I've ridden horses all my life. Walking and riding horses were synonymous. Then in 2009, I uh, was in an accident. I was hit by a car while crossing, walking across the street. You now, face destroyed everything, on oxygen and all that, and I needed help. I had no job, no money, no nothing. And I met the lady, Mary Arbuckle. Our Grand Marshal this year is the one and only Miss Mary Arbuckle. When my mom started Other Options, which is an HIV AIDS organization, we were one of the first charity partners of the Oklahoma Gay Rodeo Association. And she just kind of looks at me and she goes, you need to get up and start living. You guys give her a round of applause for We're a very tight-knit rodeo family. We don't see each other all the time, but when we do, it's like my sister's here and my brother's here and, you know, it's not about competing against each other, it's about making sure that we all do well and we all are there cheering and rooting each other on. We get to teach the young gays coming up about our lifestyle because there's a lot of people that come in and compete that have never even been to a rodeo. They just, they're just excited and, and they want to be a part of it. And it gives them an outlet because a lot of times, you know, their families have turned them away. Their friends have turned them away. And they find a family here and they realize, hey, I can be gay and I can be a cowboy at the same time. It's also about raising money for charity. Um, we've lost, I can't even begin to tell you how many people to HIV and AIDS, breast cancer, um, I mean, just everything. I've lost thousands of acquaintances. I've lost hundreds of friends. And I've probably lost 20 very good friends through the years. And it's, it's something you, you never get used to. You pick your feet up and head on out the door each day and <clears throat> do the best you can and, and get through it and, and help those that you can. What's the tears <laughs> for, baby? I don't know, just, you know, just thinking about you know, like you said, I just start thinking of memories and friends and all that, so. We do what's called the riderless horse, um, and we dedicate it to somebody that we've lost. Um, I always wear a piece of somebody that I've lost every year when I compete. Well, we're supposed to be listening to a song, but for some reason our system doesn't want to play up here, so we apologize. We also want to compete and have fun and win a buckle, but it's, it is, it's about our family and who we are and, and hoping to bring other people in and see why we do this.
started that, but that was absolutely beautiful. I experienced being gay and Mormon. Getting married is inheriting the thousands of years of this institution.